Uh, this is Scott with Amateur Homestead. Today we are changing the fuel pump and fuel pressure regulator on an 03 Hyundai Elantra. AKA Step Korean one. piece of crap. Clean your friend's crap out of her back seat. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next we pull the seat straight up and that's how it comes out. Takes a little force. I can't get that. <laughs> now she comes. This is an access panel to the fuel pump assembly, and it is just held on with the black, sticky, goo, nasty stuff. So you just get under there and pry it up. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> And then unplug that so you can just lay this whole thing back. Make sure none of the sticky, gooey stuff gets on the car. Just kind of lay this over here out of the way. And this is your fuel pump assembly. So we're going to disconnect this hose, disconnect this hose. Actually, this one's, this one's a plug. It wants to bite. Disconnect that fuel line. And I'll get uh, some pliers, disconnect this, and then we're gonna undo all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of these uh, screws. Right, we're actually just opted to go with the impact driver and the screw. Right, so after you undo all those screws, you lift the filter assembly, or the pump assembly out. The pump, the filter, everything is in here. So, you can take off this little top ring. It's basically held on by these two nipples. Next we need to open this assembly up, but first we're going to drain it. Make sure you drain your fuel and dispose of it properly into a bucket. After you drain the fuel, you'll want to take the top assembly off. You just simply press these tabs in. Oh, of course, I start on the hardest tab. Press the tab in, pull it up. That's gonna fight, aren't you? Three tabs all the way around. You press them in when it's cooperating. There we go. One. Two. Great. The whole assembly should just pop straight up. Did it click back in? Yes. And that side probably did too. No. Okay, cool. Up it comes. Let's kind of work it up. Thank you, Mr. Duck. Alright. Pull the top off. You got a couple of springs. One of them comes off, one of them doesn't. We've already replaced this is the fuel filter assembly. This white, nice clean part. We just replaced that last time, didn't fix the problem. The fuel pump is right here. Fuel pressure regulator is right here. We're gonna replace the regulator and the pipe. Right, so what I did, I, I unplugged this harness from the entire top piece, set the top piece on its Pop side. The clamp, there it goes. This is the little clamp that holds on the fuel pressure regulator. And there's your regulator. Set him off the side. Set the clamp off the side and we'll be replacing this unit here. Old fuel pressure regulator. So what we need to do is pull out the entire filter assembly. Got a tab here and a tab here. If I remember, this is a total pain in the ass. Go ahead and unplug the fuel pump supply, power supply, while we're at it. Push that wire out of the way, and then this whole assembly will slide up. All right, now that the fuel filter, believe it or not, that's a fuel filter. Korean. Can I help you, horse? Something I can do for you. Right here is the fuel pump. We need to take this entire top middle assembly out of here. 
which there's three little tabs, one, two, three, all the way around. And the whole assembly comes out. And I believe what we have to do is remove this screen filter. So the way this it. thing comes off is there's actually one of these stupid little round clips yeah. in there. And that goes in there. And then that actually connects into here. And that's why we were having trouble. So the best point of prying is you get up underneath this. Be together like that. You get up underneath there and you pry it out. And it will pop out after a little bit. There's your old fuel pump. Extra piece. Now to start putting in the new parts. Alright, time for reassembly. Fuel pump back into this bottom housing thing. It kind of fits in this little rubber grommet thing down there. This just plugs right back together. Alright, now that we got the screen back on the pump, pump is through the, I don't know, cage. The cage goes into uh, whatever you want to call this thing, the bigger cage. Just slide it back down and in. And it'll clip back in place. There's one. Two. Three. Now this piece will just, the filter will just slide back over the pump. Make sure we line it all up. And the pump housing has to go into the filter housing. There we go. There we go. Clip it all the way down and in. That looks good to me. Alright, now we can plug this wire back in. There we go. And put in the new pressure regulator, we'll clip over it, this just pushes down right. and in, reattach fuel line, and we'll plug this guy back into here, just like that, put that string back over that piece, and to make sure that your spring and shaft goes into that hole there. This spring goes over that little shaft. Kind of twist it to get it all lined up. And push her down. Top ring will go back on. Line up your little nipples. Make sure you line up your holes, your nipples. It doesn't go that way. That looks about right. Easy way to do that and just grab the little nipple and pull it through. That. Another one right here. And him right through there. There we go. And should be one more right here. There. All right, ready to be reinstalled. Hopefully, right, maybe. Reinsert the pump assembly. Nagle it around a little bit. Try to get these fuel lines around it. There. Let's see. This will need to be about like that angle. So this one will come up to about there. Alright, now these things are spring loaded, so it's not gonna actually meet up flush. You have to push it down and screw it in at the same time. And you line up push it hole. down and line up your holes and then Get a couple screws in there to hold it in place. So we hook our fuel lines back in. This one just snaps in place. And just hook our clips back on. <coughs> and then we'll put the plate back on. Sticky, goopy stuff. See, it's already sticking everything. Nasty. I hate that. Put him in. Plate. Done. Then you put your seat back in. 
push it in, put your bolts back in the back side here. All right, let's give her a start. Yay! It works! Yeah, the only place where you can work on cars and listen to chickens in the background. And I guess we just pull it right out. I don't really know how that comes out. Can, can, can we do something for you? Get out of here! Alright, let me exercise the horse. <laughs>